I'm sure there's an abundance of people out there that have heard the phrase, nobody is perfect. And that phrase is the absolute truth because we've all messed up. We've all fallen short. We've all done some sort of wrong in our life. And that phrase is even biblical because it says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. And as long as we are in these fleshly bodies, we are going to continue to mess up. And that's not a license to sin. That's not a license to go and do bad things. We got to repent and turn away from that stuff and try to do better. You know, when we fall, we get back up and strive for holiness, run after Jesus Christ. But the fact that we do do wrong and we do mess up and we do make mistakes shows the desperate need for a savior. And I am so grateful that God himself, the one that was the exception to that, the one that did walk this life perfectly, he came down, humbled himself, wrapped himself in flesh in the man Jesus Christ and walked this life perfectly. And because he loves us so much, he shed his precious blood on that cross so that we could be reconciled to him, so that we could have eternal life with him if we put our faith in him, put our faith in the one, the only one that was and is perfect. And he rose again, defeating death, hell, and the grave, rising up after three days. And it's just so beautiful. Like God is just so amazing. He loves us so much that he would do that for us. We were dead. We were born into sin, dead in our sin. And there was no way for us to make it to heaven through our own good works because we also still do bad. And a holy and righteous judge, a holy and righteous God cannot mix with bad. But the fact that he came down and died for our sin and because of him dying for our sin, and if we put our faith in him, his precious, perfect blood washes us clean as white as snow. And we are, and he sees us now as spotless, blameless, righteous in the eyes. He sees us as he sees his son himself birthed into this world. He sees us as that because he died for us and washes us with his precious blood. He no longer sees us as the dirty people that we really are, the imperfect people that we are. He sees us through the sacrifice of his son himself, birthed into this world, like I said, Jesus Christ. So don't put your faith in yourself. Don't put your faith in imperfect people, in, in men and women of this world that, again, do wrong and make mistakes. Put your faith in the one that never made mistakes. Put your faith in the one that never does wrong in Jesus Christ.